welcome back to BSPN. This is our brand new format. We've been doing these live for years. Now I've decided to start doing our show predictions ahead of time, edit them, put them together for you and launch them so that you can watch them on your own time. Please still comment away, ask questions. I do come back and I respond to comments. So I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, tell me if I missed anybody when I'm predicting these shows, all those kinds of things. Um, make sure you subscribe and like uh, help us with our algorithms. You know, the reason why we are switching over to pre-recorded versus lives is because YouTube does reward pre-recorded content versus live. So the more that we can do this, the more that I can bring to you. So with that, we're going to go through this just like I always do. I'm going to show you screen shares, um, all these girls and where they could potentially be placing in these shows. Um, and if you haven't done so already, make sure you get your Cuties Conquering the Stage ticket. Those tickets are live. If you look up here at the QR code in the corner on my screen, that will take you there. Also, the link is in the description box here on YouTube as well. So click through, take a look. You'll see all of our speakers. You'll see all of their accomplishments and what they're planning on teaching at Cuties Conquering the Stage 2024. With that, let's get into this week's shows. So... This is going to be an interesting week, you guys. Uh, there's three shows that I'm going to cover in our preview. One is in Italy, one is in Texas, and one is the Sasquatch. Uh, they are all stacked. And you guys know if you know me, you know I don't like that that uh, that particular word, stacked. <laughs> but they are. So I kind of warned you guys about this. I said, you know, when we get closer to the Olympia, these shows are just going to get more and more difficult. And that's what's happening here. Even the one in Italy is not a slam dunk for anyone in that lineup. So, uh, you know, we started to cover these European shows a little bit more. And we're going to start with that one. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about with this. So uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to pull up. And again, I'm going to screen share just like I normally do on live. We're just doing it ahead of time. I'm going to go ahead and screen share the pro list for Italy. Right here. Okay. So this is our bikini pro list over there in Italy. So this is the, what's the name of the show? The Flex, um, Flex Weekend Pro. So they have open bodybuilding. So the men's bodybuilding is actually really deep too. A lot of guys in there from all over the place. Um, men's physique as well. But then when we look at the bikini lineup, so, you know, typically when we're looking at these European shows, we're not seeing a lot of names that we recognize, but this time we are, right? So immediately jumping out at the top there is Christina Brunauer. So I've got her pulled up right here. She has been doing well this season. I've talked about her several times. Uh, I think she's got a phenomenal look overall, but where she struggles is in her posing. So specifically, you know, this front pose is really wonky. Um, there's just some little simple things that she could do here that would 100% change this look here. All she needs to do is push this hip back and push the glute up and everything else would come forward and she would be in alignment. This is not a pose where she's just out of sorts and she's transitioning. This is her actual front pose. I really think she probably could have won a show already, but she's just not posing right. So let's see if she comes in and poses correctly at this particular show. All she's got to do is push that, that glute back and everything else will come into alignment. And that might be a matter of just changing her foot position or something, but all I want to see is that pelvic tilt. And if she can do that, like her physique is nice and round and full. She's got phenomenal structure. I mean, she's got that tiny waist on everything. She's just minimizing it because she's not posing correctly. So let's see what happens. She's been very close to qualifying for the Olympia already. So all she's got to do is just change a couple of little things. Now let's take a look at her back pose too. Uh, she's a little off center. This one's closer to center here. Let's pull up this back pose here. So same thing here. She's just a little off on this back pose. She's squatting a little bit too much through the knees. So she's got to pull up through the knees, tilt back more. If she tilts back more, what's going to happen is that upper glute is going to pop. And then she's going to look like she's got a lot more glutes here than what she's showing right now. Right now her glutes look kind of flat. Uh, but that's just because of her pose, because she's posing to those knees, which is pulling her tighter. And that's actually minimizing the pop of her glutes. If she just does that, 
she'd be good to go. Um, something else that, that could help her is if she changed up her hair color a little bit. Her hair color is very, very close to the same color as her tan. Now, I know this particular photo, this particular show is a little washed out with the coloring anyway, but it actually shows just how close she is in color. So maybe just go a little bit brighter, a little bit darker, and that would help to actually pop that out a little bit more, um, but not much. And then I like the suit and everything too. Again, I think the suit color is just reflective of the actual photography and the lighting at this show and not specifically the suit color itself. Um, and the suit cut is good too. I have no problem with the suit cut either. She just needs to pose this better. Really, her only flaw right now, real flaw, is her posing. It's her posing, 100%. So we'll see if she can bring that in. And if she can make a difference here with the, the actual scoring, because I think she could win a show if she would just do that. Just really, really simple. But it's not going to be easy because right below her, we've got Valeria. So she is a previous Olympia um, contender. Every show in Europe that she's been in, she's won. Uh, when she's come here to the States, she has struggled. She's very beautiful, got beautiful lines, beautiful shape, all of this kind of stuff. Um, but she's so tall and she's so long that she tends to come in a little bit thin. So this is pretty thin right here, right? Um, when was this show? Was this last year? I don't even know what show I just pulled up, which whatever one was last. Um, Nevada State Pro. So yeah, so this was this year. So um, she placed sixth here. So she was right outside of the top five here. Um, she's doing better as she gets into this, the States and she's competing here. And that's something she needed to do because when she came to the Olympia this last year, she was in, you know, that last call out, uh, just because she was too stringy and all this kind of stuff. So you can see even here though, her lower body is overpowering her upper body, um, just in fullness and roundness. And I don't think she needs to bring her lower body down. I think she needs to bring her upper body up a little bit more. Um, she may even need a little bit more muscle on her lower body. Like right here, she looks fine. But again, she's like 5'11". So when she stands next to the other competitors, she does look a lot thinner. So the judges have told her she needs to come in a little bit softer. She's been doing that, but then she comes in too soft, blah, 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 that kind of thing. Now, with that said, going over to Europe and competing over in those shows, this may not be an issue with her. She may be fine. Um, there's a couple things I'd like to see her do differently. I'm not a fan of her suit choices. I've said this several times. I actually like this blue one better than she's got a, like a burgundy one. I don't like the burgundy one. It doesn't do any, just, any justice for her. Um, and it also is like a golden color, which again, doesn't work on stage. Um, She's got too many bangles. You know, this is really distracting to me. Um, her jewelry is always really distracting to me as well. So like these fine tuned details make a difference when you're trying to get into that top five at the pro level, right? Um, and then her suit bottoms, that's way too high on her hip for her. If you look at her proportions, her legs are super long. By pulling this up like that, it actually makes her legs longer. Trust me, I know I'm the same way. She needs to pull it down. So it's right here in this little... Um, uh, What's what I'm looking for? Oblique, oblique line. So it's right here on this line. Then that would be a good spot for that. I don't have a problem with the suit cut in the front. The um, the, the connector just needs to come down. So there's a lot of little fine-tuned details here that would absolutely help her with her presentation. She poses great, but she just needs to fix a few of these things. This can actually be relaxed a little bit. She's a little bit stiff on there, looking a little too figure-esque right there. Needs to get a little bit more, um, a little bit more relaxed through that arm. That's an easy fix. Um, let's look at her back shot. All right. Here we go. Again, back shot is pretty good, but it's a little overdone. Um, again, she's sitting into those knees just a little bit too much. And I know that her, um, thing is she wants to be shredded. Like you just can tell she likes being shredded, but that's not bikini, right? So she needs to come up a little taller on these knees. I would bring the feet in. The feet are a little too wide. You always want the feet to be right underneath the shoulders. And you can see her feet are a little wider than her shoulders. That's not doing her any, any justice right there. Bring it in just a little bit. Um, she can bring the toes in a little bit too. The toes are out a little bit too far. So if she straightens up on the knees, pushes back with that lower back, that's going to fill these glutes out a lot more, make her better balanced. And then it'll also help her to re relax up here. She's got a great V taper, but because she's kind of pulling up 
and, and yanking back and things like that, we're losing the delts on the outside. She's got a little bit of a, an imbalance right here she could fix. That's from her front pose, pulling that arm around in the front pose. I have the same problem. She's got to open it up and pull it back. So we see that delt on this side, just like we do on this side. Um, but again, little teeny tiny tweaks. But you can see even here, she's got some feathering in her calves of all places. So she's got to be careful with that. Um, she likes to be lean. Like I said, she likes to be striated. She likes to have, you know, all these, these veins going all over the place, but that's not the bikini look. So some little tiny things that if she feels like set her apart, probably set her apart in the wrong way. If she can just fix all of these little things, she's going to do very, very well here in the States. In Europe, she's always going to be a top contender, always. So we'll see how this works out for her. Um, she should be in your top two. I would, I would imagine she'd be in your top two. Um, but with that, you're going to have some competition again. It's not going to be, it's not going to be an easy win for her. Uh, next up on the list that we see here is Octavia. So Octavia is qualified for the Olympia. She just won the, this UK show. Um, so she is already Olympia qualified. Um, she's been to the Olympia before. So this is nothing, this is not new territory for her. So let's pull up a front pose. And you can see here just how much rounder and fuller she is than just that we were just talking about Valeria, Val, Valeria. Um, we were just talking about her and how lean she gets. This is a lot fuller look. You can see it. She's still tight. She's still very tight from top to bottom. But the roundness and the fullness and the muscle bellies is very, very apparent here. This is a great shape, a great look. She looks very, very confident, all of that. Um Honestly, I wouldn't change much here in this front pose. Maybe push back a little bit more on that lower back just so we see a little bit more glute pop, but really it's not, not bad at all. Um, that's very, very, very close. Now, she's got to be careful with the suit top. She's exposed a little up here. So um, make sure if you're putting your suit top on, I've mentioned this before, I'd rather see a suit top that's a little bit too big than a suit top that's too small. Here's one of the reasons why. So you got to be careful with those kinds of things. Um, make sure you glue it in place if it's, if it's too small. So that that doesn't happen. Let's look at a back shot. Lots of pictures from this show. Let's get to that sixth page. Here we go. All right. Here's a back shot for her. All right. So great back shot. Really, really good back shot here. Um, pose is right on. I wouldn't change a thing about this pose. She could probably stand to build a touch more glute up at the top here, just to balance with the legs. Her legs are very, very close to being over the top and too much, but I think she's still fine. That's what I'm saying. When she gets into the Olympia, if she wants to move up, she's going to need to have a little bit, a little bit more size in the glutes. Um, I wouldn't, honestly, I might try to open up this back a little bit. She's a little pinched, but we're seeing her, we're seeing her delts. So I'm okay with that. Um, and maybe a situation where when she does try to open that up a little bit, we lose the delts. So I'm okay with this right here. I would like to see her a little bit more open, but that might not be the right solution. So I would say the only thing really here is to work on getting some more glute pop, some more projection towards us with the glutes. I don't necessarily think she needs to bring the legs down. I just think pulling the glutes up a touch would help with the overall balance of this back pose. Um, but really, I wouldn't change anything else. So she's going to be very, very tough competition. Again, she's nice and full around. She's got just enough hamstring, um, not too much. She's not diced in. This is what you like to see for bikini for sure. But again, it ain't over until somebody steps up in that winner circle. And we've got uh, Marissa Wu going into this show. Now, Marissa has not qualified for the Olympia. But she tends to be in the first call out when we're looking at shows here in the U.S. First call out, sometimes in that second. I think she was in second here in D.C. Um, she placed sixth in D.C. So she was in first call out in D.C. Um, where's a, front, a good front pose? We're getting the back pose is no problem. Do we have a front pose here? I've seen a couple of previews of Marissa on Instagram. And I do think she's streamlined a little bit and uh has a better proportion now 
there's just some little things with this front pose that I would change. Like, for example, and I've clicked through a couple of photos that you can see it isn't just a, a one-off thing. This hand right here, this looks really uncomfortable. She needs to twist it in and break that wrist down. I would say break the wrist down. That makes it look uh, more comfortable. She's bent through the knee a little bit too much. She needs to just straighten that out so that she can push the glute up. She's got better glutes here than what she's showing, right? And that would make her waistline look smaller as well. Um, probably needs to pump out the shoulders a little, uh, but just continue to refine that shape more than anything else. We just need to see more curve from her, her here. Uh, so if she can fix this pose a little bit, I think that would actually really be beneficial for her. Um, and again, she tends to place in the top call out here in the States. So if she's going to Europe, that would venture to guess she might move up. So I'm curious to see how she's going to do when she gets up against these other girls who really strictly compete in Europe or only, you know, do very well in Europe. So let's see, you know, from the back, I think she's got a really good back pose. Um, I would like to see a little bit more coverage on the, on the suit top right here. I've talked about this before, just a little bit more. So we cover up that bone in the back um, and then just stand up a little taller so that we can open up this back, make the waistline look a touch smaller. Um, that'll help the glutes fill out a little bit too. I feel like she's a little bit leg heavy here. Um, she's got a shorter, smaller frame. So it's just about kind of refining this back pose and making sure that she's really showing the glutes the best way that she can while still having that X frame, right? I think her glutes are great, but I also think they look a little squared off and that's due to her pose. Um, and also to her suit bottoms as well. So I think if she just tweaks this pose a little bit, maybe bring the feet out an inch. She's a little close on that. Bring the feet out a little bit. Um, get them right underneath those shoulders. Stand up a little taller. Let those glutes round out and fill out. I think that'd be a better look for her. So we'll see. We'll see what she does here in, uh, in Italy. I'm curious to see how this plays out because, again, typically when we're talking about American girls that are going to go over to Europe, if they're doing well here in the U.S., they're probably going to do pretty well once they get over there to Europe. So, I mean, this is really kind of a toss up. I think we're probably going to see a battle between the four of them. And it's going to be a matter of who comes in best that day. You know, looking at on paper, you would say that Octavia would be your front runner because she is already Olympia qualified. But that doesn't mean much when you get next to other girls who have been to the Olympia or are this close to getting to the Olympia. So we'll see how this actually plays out for them. Um, go ahead and type into the comments. Let me know who you think is going to win this show. So go ahead and type in the comments. I'll give you a second. And while you're doing that, if you haven't already, subscribe, like. And comment, comment your who, whoever you think is going to win this show. All right. So that's your Italy show going on this weekend. Um, let's move in to Texas. We have hard Texas and this is um, wellness going on. Now, this is a relatively small lineup for wellness, but it's deep, man. Um, there's two girls on this list, only two girls that I didn't pull up. And that's because I think that their names are wrong on this list. And I couldn't find them on a piece of news. And I just didn't, was trying to dig and I couldn't figure out um, what they screwed up as far as the, the the actual spelling of their name. And that's Ciara and Isa Maria. So really, like all of these girls could be potential winners at this show. It's just like they've always either they're either Olympia qualified already or they placed top five. So, again, as I've said before, going into this last part of the season, these shows are getting harder and harder and harder because, again, these girls are all vying for the Olympia spots. They're already qualified, so they're warming up for the Olympia, getting some last minute critiques and things that they can apply or they're trying to get last minute qualifications. So. First one on the list is Amanda. Amanda is already Olympia qualified. She won um, this this uh, Houston show already. So she is what you would consider to be one of your front runners for this particular show because she's qualified already. Now, with that said, she only competed against a few people. So it's not like it was a really deep lineup. Um, so it's not like she just blew people out of the water, but you can see even here, I've clicked through a few of these photos. Her biggest thing that I'd like to see her fix is her waistline. Waistline always tends to, to blow out a little bit. Um, if she comes in really conditioned, then she's too conditioned. If she comes in too soft, then this kind of thing happens right here. So, um, we'll see what she looks like now. She's been off stage for a little bit. 
Uh, this she hasn't been on stage since she won the show, so that's enough time to give herself a little bit of a break, a little bit of a breather, see you know what she can fix and how she can she can give her body a rest. She was competing like nonstop because she just won a pro car, then she went on and got Olympia qualified, then she did the Olympia, then she did the Arnold, and now she did this show and won. So I think there was a couple more shows in between there, but those were the highlights basically. So we'll see what she looks like coming in. Um, but uh, yeah, she's definitely one to be looking at. I mean, all of them are this, this, this particular show. I mean, there is no, there is, this is not an easy show. <laughs> There's just anybody could win this really. Um, and next we have Devin, which like I said with Devin, she's been getting better each show. This is her, this will be her third show of the, of the year. Now, again, we work with Devin, so I'm partial. <laughs> So it is what it is. I'm partial. Um, you know, her critique at the last show, let me pull up a, a front pose here. Um, well, if I can get to a front pose. Do, do, do. I went through all the pages except for the one that include, includes her front pose, I think. Yeah, there's one right there. Kind of. I mean, there it is right there. So there's her front pose. Um, her critique at this last show was a little bit tighter in the waistline, which I can see. I'd like to see this come in just a touch tighter here, a little bit, a little bit less. Um, and then she needs more legs. So that was her critique in, in Tampa as well. So it's a matter of pulling it down a little bit more on the waistline and just trying to pose. So that the legs come out a little bit better. I believe um, I felt like this was a very, very good package for her really polished um, posing was a thousand times better in Texas than it was in Tampa. So I think she was just kind of, she's just kind of hitting her stride right now. Um, and it's just going to be a matter of, again, if she can pull it in perfectly for show day, if she can, She's definitely going to be up in that top, you know, and she could definitely be winning this show. So let's see what happens. Um, let me show from the back here. So when you look at the back, you know, this is significantly better than Tampa. Um, and I mentioned this when we wrapped up this show, I would have had her placing higher than what she did at this particular show, to be honest with you. So um, I think that with a few little tweaks and things like that, she's going to be a real threat here at the show. And we'll see how it all plays out. I mean, here she looks really well balanced with her legs and glutes um, versus Tampa. She wasn't quite there yet. This is good. So I say just bring it in a couple pounds tighter in the waist and just see how it plays out. I mean, again, this is going to be a tough show. However, however you slice this, it's going to be a tough show. It's going to be a tough show between all of these ladies. Um, I did pull out the next one, which is Amy Lee. She also was in Texas Pro. She was seventh place in Texas. Um, again, really good package here. Posing's a little wonky. Um, needs to needs to kind of relax that that finger. This thing right here. This is a little uncomfortable to me. Just relax that finger down. <laughs> See how detailed it is. Just relax the finger. Um, and the, yeah, the pose is just a little bit wonky. I'd like to see her stand up a little taller, um, maybe twist her upper body this way, not quite so forward. Um, remember this is supposed to be an unbalanced look. So I think she's trying a little bit too much to be balanced here. So just switch up this front pose or I'm sorry, this quarter turn a little bit. Um, back. From the back, she's really glute heavy. So you can see here, I mean, those are some phenomenal glutes, but they very much overpower her legs. Um, and she's too hard too. You can see all the vascularity going through her, her hamstrings, everything there too. Um, you don't want all that going on back there as far as the conditioning is concerned. So, I mean, if she can, if she can fill out a little, but I mean, honestly, this is a structural thing. See how low her hamstring drops are. I mean, we've talked about this with some girls like India and things like that. Um, really long hamstring drops. It's hard. Those are phenomenal to look at, but once they get too big, once your glutes get too big, it's really hard to bring them back down. So um, I don't know if she's going to be able to fix this, you know what I mean? Because it's kind of a genetic shape, but maybe a little bit of tweaking with the posing, uh, maybe a little bit of tweaking with her conditioning here, and she could come, come back and have a better balanced pose from the back. Remember, even though wellness is an unbalanced look, you still have to be balanced in each position, right? In each, in each body part, which here she's definitely glute heavy. So um, don't count her out, but that's where I see she needs the improvement. 
And then we have Jenna. So Jenna um, just placed second in RGV and she was also third at Texas Pro. This is one that we mentioned. I haven't seen her until the Texas Pro. Um, and I thought she did a phenomenal job. I thought she had a really, really good look. Um, looking for a actual front pose here. I could do a quarter turn if need be. Oh, here's the front pose. Um, I know Tyler said that her posing was a little wonky when he did his little wrap up from Texas. Um, even this pose looks a little bit wonky to me. It's okay, but she just needs to push back a little bit. Um, she's just kind of sitting into it forward a little, but she's, her conditioning is fantastic. I love this look like the blue with the blonde is beautiful. Um, the beautiful, it's a beautiful cut on her, all of this stuff. I think this is a really, really pretty look for wellness. Um, I think, you know, like I said, what, uh, what Tyler said about Texas was that her posing was a little off, which I would agree. It's a little, it's a little wonky. I like it. I think it looks good. Um, but it's just a little off the, the, what it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? Um, so let's take a look at her back. Here's her back pose. So when you look at her back pose here, conditioning is off. Um, she's a little soft, which I'm guessing going into this show, they probably told her that she needed to be a little bit softer from Texas. I'm guessing. Um, this also could be lighting too, but I'd like to see a little bit more detail in here. This is conditioning that's on par with bikini, which is where I particularly like the conditioning to be. That's not typically what they reward. Now, again, you know, the last few shows that I've watched, they're doing more rewarding of um, uh, size, size versus versus conditioning. So if you're bigger, you're going to get rewarded, which I think is what happened here. I think because she was bigger, she got rewarded for it. That said, I feel like her legs are a little too big for her glutes. So maybe just pump the glutes up a little bit, change this pose up a little bit to balance again, all about balance. Um, but if they're going for size, she's going in the right direction. So, uh, she definitely could be a threat here for this, for this title because she did just play second and third. So, um, I'd be watching her for sure. And then we have Mia who just placed second at heart of Texas. This was the one where a lot of people were surprised because she was so much softer. Um, but mainly there's a lot of pictures of her here. Mainly she just needs to work on her posing. Her posing was very close to being, um, I'm going to go ahead and do a back pose first. Her posing was very close to being bikini versus wellness, right? Like this is, I would bring the legs in. They're a little too wide. Um, she's standing up a little, I mean, it's, I hate to say that she's standing up a little too upright, but she is for wellness. She looks like she's posing. This is, looks like it's, it's a bikini pose. Bring the hands in a little bit, close that upper body off a little bit. Um, bring the feet in a little bit, that kind of thing. Just some little tiny tweaks to make this look more wellness versus a bigger version of bikini, which I think that's even what Tyler said when he was talking about this show, that she just looked like a bigger version of bikini. I could be wrong on that. I, I may be misquoting, so don't quote me on that, but I feel like that's what he said. Um, comment and tell me if I'm, if I'm misquoting, <laughs> I think, I, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. Um, let me see. So I wanted to show this, this quarter turn, because I do believe he actually commented on this. And I did comment on this on my live wrap up as well, where she's just, she's posing like a bikini competitor. This is a bikini pose, right? She's definitely got more, more mass. She's got more mass than a bikini competitor, but she's posing like a bikini competitor. So you got to be really careful with that. She needs to bend into this knee a little bit, put all the weight back here and kind of twist a little bit differently. Um, again, little, little things we talked about with her hair being too big and just frizzy, that kind of thing. So there's just, just little things you see under boob here, you know, these little things like that will make a difference in specifically this coming show, because all of these girls are so close to winning. So, um, she's got to fix all these tiny little details here and we'll see how she lands again. She was one of the bigger competitors as far as size is concerned. And that tends to be the direction that they're going. So I would definitely be watching her for sure. And then we have Vanina, 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 Vanina. She placed fifth. She's placed fifth, fifth, eighth. So she's been, you know, she's been in the mix. Um, <clears throat> again, all of these girls in this particular show have been in the mix, but I wanted to show a few things with her. This is not a good back pose, you guys. 
Um, it, <laughs> it looks like she's squatting to go to the bathroom. So guys, also this, the suit cut way too small here. This is, this is just dangerously small. Um, it's actually a little loose on her. You can see it. So I would be very, very careful with that hair really lacks polish here. It looks very, um, dry damaged. So if you're going to do blonde, you got to make sure that it's healthy and full. This looks way too thin. Like you can see the light going through it. Um, Per, the actual back shot, like this isn't bad as far as her conditioning and her size and stuff. She's just posing it wrong. Um, she changed this pose up a little bit, then she would look a lot better. Um, and I do think this is kind of a transitional pose, but still, no, not really. She's, sh she's pushing into that even more here. That's even worse. So yeah, you got to be careful with that stuff, but see how it's just, it looks like she didn't even run a brush through her hair. You know what I mean? So it's very, very thin through the bottoms. Um, just make sure that I, I would put some extensions in there and fill that out. doesn't need to be longer. It just needs to be fuller. Um, needs to look a lot more polished, a lot more put together. Um, uh, let's see if we can find a front pose here. Oh, that was one. I saw it. I missed it. Here's a front pose. And here, what sticks out to me is her waistline. Her waistline's not tight enough. Um, it's pretty boxy, and she's not opening up enough here. So she's got a lot of vascularity going on through the calves and things like that. I, that's you got to be careful with stuff like that. Do I see her beating some of these other girls that I mentioned? No. Um, could she? She? She prove me wrong? Yeah, anybody can prove me wrong. Um, I just think she's probably going to be outside the top five in this in this show. But we'll see. Who knows? Maybe she'll take critiques and she'll come back a thousand times better. She could. Um, and then last, I did bring up, bring up Tracy Williams, too. So Tracy Williams has been placing pretty decent as well. Um, but Tyler mentioned that she actually has, <clears throat> has the most complete physique, probably the best physique on stage. Um, you know, I think it was this show that he was wrapping up. It might have been a different one. Um, and that's a problem in wellness I mean, you can see here, this to me, this looks like figure. This doesn't look like wellness. This looks like figure to me, right? Those round, full shoulders. She's got that lat spread here. This this is just a little bit of a softer version of figure. So she's probably still going to be in that first call out. She's probably still going to be in the top five. I just don't see her being able to get rid of that figure look um, before, before this weekend. <laughs> You know, that's just, that's just her genetic. She's genetically put together that way. Plus, she's been posing that way for a while. Um, I'm sure she's doing it to try to make her waistline look smaller and things like that. But then even when you turn her to the back, I mean, when we're looking at her back shot, she looks more streamlined. Um, she looks more streamlined from the back than the other girls do. This looks like, again, this looks like a figure girl trying to pose like a wellness girl. So, um, and I believe she also did women's physique and things like that. We talked about this on a live a couple weeks ago. So she does have a balanced physique, which unfortunately in wellness is not a good thing. Um, conditioning needs to be a little bit tighter as well. She's not condi conditioned quite enough, but in general, her, her shape is actually going to be detrimental to her in this particular division. Um, so will she, I, again, I think she'll probably still be in the top five. I just don't think she's going to win it. So we'll see. But anyway, that was that full show guys. Who do you think is going to take home the win? In Texas. So let me pull that up. Go ahead, comment. Let me know who you think is going to take home the win here. I mean, obviously, I'm going to pull for Devin. I mean, uh, it is what it is. But go ahead and comment in the comment box below. Let me know who you think is going to take home that win. Um, and subscribe. See, you can get my little my little commercial in while we're doing all this. So uh, let me know who you think is going to take home the win. Maybe your top five. Go ahead and put the top five in the, in the bottom if you want to. This is going to be a tough one, you guys. I'm going to be honest. It's going to be a matter of who, sh who shows up best. It really is. So, I mean, I pulled out every single girl except for, like I said, um, Chara and Issa Maria. I, I couldn't find them on NPC News. So I'm assuming they just spelled their names wrong here on the list. I couldn't find them through there. Um but it's difficult when you got the entire lineup <laughs> that could potentially win the show. So it's going to be a fun show to watch. Going to be a fun show to watch for sure. 
So let's get to our main event. Our main event is Sasquatch. You guys, this is the biggest show that I have seen all year for Bikini. Look at this. Look at this lineup. Look at this. It's 42 girls in open. 42. 42 girls. What have I, I've been saying this entire video? These shows are getting tougher and tougher and tougher. You see all these all these open tabs I have up here? These are all the girls that could potentially win this show. You guys, this is not easy. Now, part of this is because we've got Bikini and already over 45 and over 50 you know we've got some some girls in here um that are also going into the open that kind of thing they just some of them just competed in the masters olympia all of that but still you take them out and we still got a huge open lineup here huge open lineup so um let's just get get right to it and we talked about all of these girls pretty much so i'm going to go through them pretty quickly so we're not here forever but we've got maya um we have talked about Maya several times. Again, this was Nashville. She did just compete, but um, this is the one that came up when I put her name in. So she did just compete this past weekend too. Uh, this was a little softer than this past weekend. This past weekend's look was a little bit better. Um, she's like knocking at the door at every one of these shows. She's really, really close. She's like right here, right here. So, you know, it's just going to be a matter of her getting into the right lineup and making sure that she's got the right type of fullness and the right kind of leanness and the right pop everywhere. I've mentioned with her a little bit more push into that glute um, to get the, the uh, front pose to really pop for her. And then with the back pose, she just needs to fill her glutes out a little bit more. Um, this particular show, let's find a back shot. This particular show, she was just not tight enough. Um, but when she competed this past weekend, uh, she was, I felt like her, her, her package this past weekend at iron games was better than this by a lot, by quite a bit. So, you know, she went, she went in the right direction this past week. So we'll see what happens this coming week. Um, she's definitely one to be watching though. First on that list. Um, next one that I pulled up is Yulia. So Yulia is one of the girls that we work with. This is one of my suits right here. We've helped her with her presentation, um, her overall look, um, She's put on a ton of size from last year. She started out in this particular show in um, second call out, but she worked her way up into first call out. So I can definitely see her. She ended up placing eighth, I believe. I think she believe, I believe she placed eighth. I can see her moving up again if she brings in everything well. The only thing she really needed to do from this show was she just needed to tighten up a little bit. Front pose looks great. Um, overall look is really great. I have, I have a few suggestions for her when it comes to her hair look and things like that. Um, but, oh, and just pose in general, she's pull up a little taller in the front pose. Um, <clears throat> but overall, not a bad look at all. She just needs to be a touch tighter. They jumped into that show, not planning on it. She was just ready. And, uh, so she just, she does need an, an extra week or two, which is what she has for Sasquatch. So, um, when you look at her from behind, I actually think she, she, looks very similar to Issa from behind. Um, let's find a full wheel. The one thing I would change here in this particular shot is her hands are out too far. You can see your fingers. So bring the fingers in. Um, but I think her glute shape is very similar to Issa's glute shape. Um, she, but in order to make that really pop, she needs to come in a little bit tighter. So she just needs to be a touch tighter here. Um, and then that will really pop everything for her. So I could definitely see her getting back up into that and in, or up into the first call out in this particular show. Um, next one that we have on the list is Tamika. Tamika has been knocking at the door. You know, she's placing top two, top three, you know, every show that she goes into, I just think she's an incredible, uh, look. She has an incredible look. She's a stunner. Like this is, you know, Barbie-esque right here. Um, I mentioned I'd like to see her suit top pull in a little bit tighter into the center. I think that would help with her overall look. This particular show, she was more conditioned, which I think is good for her. I think she needs to be a touch more conditioned for her particular look and her particular physique. And I think this was right on for her. She came in right behind um, Ashlyn and Issa. So she would definitely be a front runner here going into this show. Um, I, I definitely would not count her out. And again, if she comes in with the conditioning correct, 
and she brings that look and that presence and all of that kind of stuff, she is 100% going to be a threat for this title. I think this is a really, really good look from the back too. She's got that tiny little waistline. The only thing that I would change here is that her hair is a little bit too big, but we talked about this show that happened with a lot of people because of the humidity and everything in Texas. So I don't think that's the same situation. It's Sasquatch is Washington, I believe. Comment below. Tell me, uh, I think it's Washington. I think that's where it is. Um, actually, I can figure that out just by clicking through and going here. Let's see. Where are we? Yeah, it's in Washington. So Sasquatch is Washington. Okay, got it. So there shouldn't be humidity there like there was in Texas. Um, next up, we have Jessica. So Jessica Delias, she um, just placed fourth. Was it fourth? We just talked about her the other day um, in Iron Games. And I think overall, it's a really good look for her. I think she just in general, for me, needs a little bit more shoulder here. If she has a little bit more shoulder, and that could just be a matter of kind of pumping up a little bit more, that could be really, really good for her overall shape. She's got a phenomenal little teeny tiny waistline um, from the back. We also mentioned that she has a little bit of a glute imbalance, her right glute uh, hamstring is a little bit, uh, tie-in is a little bit longer than her left. Um, but that's fixable through some body work and through some posing adjustments. So if you look at this, she's pushed a little bit off to the left, uh, because she's pushed off to the left, that's what's creating that glute imbalance. So you see it here where her hamstring drop, her glute drop into her hamstring is a little bit longer over here than over here. That's because she's pushed a little onto this hip. If she pushes back over this way, that's going to solve that. So a little bit of, um, a little bit of body work, a little bit of changing of this pose will definitely help her. This is created from posing on the front side all the time on her left. Okay. This is why I harp on you guys all the time about posing on both sides, because then you create imbalances. If you don't trust me, I am a product of that myself and trying to fix those imbalances as best I can. So Fix it before it becomes a problem. Pose on both sides. Cool. <laughs> um, but the other thing I mentioned with her back pose is I'd like to see fuller hair. Um, just, you know, even this hair is okay. Just brush through it. I know she's got a shorter look and then this is extensions down here. So just brush through those curls to blend them all together so we don't see those gaps in the hair. That's just distracting for me. So that's that's one thing there. Um Next, we have Malou. So again, Malou just came in second here in Iron Games. So very, very close to winning a show. I felt like she was she was really, really good here. I felt that like this was one of her better looks that she's had. And I think the one thing that probably docked her and made her put, go into second, this is just my opinion, is that her waistline is actually too small. We're seeing some rib cage here poking out uh, when she turns and stuff like that. It's actually a little concave when she turns, which is not the best look in the world. Um, it ends up making you look a little bit sickly when, it, when you do that. So you have to have a good balance. There is such a thing as having a waistline that is too small. Um, so let me see if there's any of these photos that actually display that well. A uh, little bit. Yeah, this, this one does. I mean, as she's transitioning, you can see it. <clears throat> so look at her rib cage and how much that pokes out here. And her, her waistline almost is concave here above the belly button. You see that? And then it pooches a little bit right here. And that's not even a pooch. That's just because this is concave. So it's almost like she needs to just relax and let that breathe out just a touch. So then that fills out her, her rib cage and doesn't look like it's quite so hollow right there. That's really the only thing that I saw that she could have fixed here. Um, and, and that's enough when you're when you're battling for a first and second place. That's enough to, to, to make you go into second place, you know. So um, I don't know... Let's see. I thought her glutes looked great. I really wouldn't change anything from this back pose. And so she's definitely going to be, she's going to be one to be paying attention to back here. Clean up the hair a little bit. So we're not covering up the shoulders. Other than that, don't change anything from the back. This is great. This is a really nice round full glute look, right? Looks good. So she could definitely be one to be paying attention to here. Next, we have Marioli. So she has been top five in every show that she's done this year. Well, I take that back. She was eighth here at Governor's Cup, but she's been placing top fives. Um, my critique with her has been that her upper body is a little bit small in comparison to her lower body. I and mean, you can see it here. She just needs to needs to fill this out a little bit here, but she's been close. Do I think she's going to win this show? No, I don't think she's going to win this show, um, but she could be in that top five for sure. And one thing immediately that I look at at this particular photo and this particular show is her eyes match her suit. 
don't do that. <laughs> guys, that's a not that's not a good look. That's not a good look, guys. So don't let your eyes match your shoot, suit. Um, makeup here just looks a little bit a little bit clownish, in my opinion. Uh, so I don't know if she did it or if she had somebody else do it or what, but that, that just wasn't a great makeup look here at this particular show. Uh, but I think it was Brazil that she's in. I think that's where this was. It's the Sir Cup, wherever that was. I don't believe it was in the States. Um, so that makes sense why it might be a little bit different with the actual look of the makeup and things like that. So I, I'll, I'll give her a pass on that, but just guys don't ever do that. <laughs> don't match your makeup to your suit. Um, here we go. So, and here's her back shot. Uh, here, I feel like she could be a touch tighter and she could open up that back a little bit more. Uh, but again, she can definitely be in the top five. Don't think she's going to win um, over some of these other girls here, but she could give some people a little bit of trouble too. She could be in that top five for sure. Next, Francesca Loren. So Lauren, Francesca Loren. Lauren, I always say Loren because Sophia Loren. I always do that. So Lauren. So some of you guys may not remember her, uh, may not know who she is. She has not been on stage since 2018. I competed with her in this particular show that I'm showing you guys right here. Um, she is a past Olympian. She is one of those girls that qualified for the Olympia twice on points. So the game has changed quite a bit since she was in it, but she always was always in that top two, always in that top two, so close every time. So uh, it's, it's, it's cur I'm curious to see how she looks coming into the show. I know she's been kind of prepping in the background for it. Um, I, I, it's been years since she's been on stage. So this is going to be exciting. This is going to be fun. The change of the divisions has, it's been significant since 2018. This was a top placing physique back in 2018. Um, she was, what did she place in this show? Um, where's her, where is it? Golden State. She was third. This was third. She was third place in this particular show, guys. So this was the third place physique back then. So guys, it's changed a lot. It's changed a lot in the last few years. So I'm curious to see what she does. She's always been that one that could come in really conditioned. Um, <clears throat> great stage presence and posing, all of that. So I am I am very curious to see what she brings to the stage. Very, very curious. I'm curious to see if she ends up in that first call out. Um, I think she wants to come back and finally get a win because I know that's one thing that always bugged her is that she was on the pro stage for so long and she made it to two Olympias on points. So I know she wants to get a win before she just decides to hang this whole thing up, I bet. So um yeah, I'm excited to see her get on stage. So be paying attention to Francesca. For those of you that don't know who she is, she's an OG. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens at this particular show with her. <clears throat> I have Roxana up as well. Roxana is a previous Olympian, as you can see here. Um, she has won several shows. I feel like she's already Olympia qualified for this year. I think she won a show in Brazil, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so this just didn't, it just didn't pop up here. Um, this particular show, she was a little... little a um, little off, but um, again, I think she's, I think she won a show already. I think she's already Olympia qualified. So if that's the case, then definitely be watching her. She, every time I've seen her on stage, she's been in the top call outs. So it could be very much one of these girls that comes in and, and, and takes it. I don't even see a back shot here from Olympia. Did you guys see one? Did I miss it? Yeah, no back shot. So all right. Well, no back shot for Roxana, but she's definitely one to watch. Um, again, I believe she's Olympia qualified, but I think they just probably spelled her name wrong or did it differently um, on the show that she actually won. Um, <clears throat> watch her. Almost there, guys. Almost there. I want to bring up Kerrigan. Kerrigan has not competed for a full year, uh, but she has a huge, huge YouTube social media following. So people love her. Um, she decided after last year competing a few times that she was going to take an off season so she could grow into the, into the division a little bit more. Um, I was actually in this show with her. She looked phenomenal. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing what changes she has brought back. And I know a lot of people are looking forward to seeing her too. So not really a whole lot to critique with her right now because she hasn't been on stage in over a year, but I just wanted to kind of shout her out because I know a lot of people are looking forward to her comeback this year. So watch for Kerrigan. And last but not least is Eureka. 
And obviously, Eureka has won two shows back to back. She won Japan and she won Iron Games. So she is Olympia qualified two times over at this point. She would be your front runner. Hands down, she would be your front runner. We just talked about her on Tuesday. So I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail with her. There's not a whole lot she has to change. Front pose, I would bring the arm down and relax it a little bit. Uh, she has a tendency to kind of wave it out there a little bit. Back pose, I really wouldn't change much at all. Um, with the back pose, let me pull it up so you can see it. The only thing that I see that could be something she could stand to do is come up a little taller on the knees, fix the imbalance in her toes down here, um, and then pull the suit bottom down. That's it. That's it. Uh, and watch the, watch the tanning. She had a little bit of tanning issue here. We talked about that too. She would absolutely be your front runner for this particular show. Uh, so with that though, she's got 41 other girls that are on her heels wanting to take this title. So what do you guys think? Um, this is going to be a long show. You guys, who do you think is going to take home that win? Go ahead and type it into the comments. I'll give you a minute here to type into the comments who you think is going to take the win home, who you've got in your top five, who you think is going to take the win home. Is there anybody here that I didn't talk about that I missed that I should have talked about? Type them into the comments so that I can look them up. <laughs> I admittedly did not go through every single name on this list. But this is going to be a long show. It's going to be an interesting show. And I feel bad for the judges. That's all I have to say about that. So... With that, you guys, that is our preview for this coming weekend. We have three big implication type of shows coming up. So I am very, very interested to see how this all goes. I will be home this weekend. So I'm going to try and get live streams if there's live streams for the shows. But let's see. We could end up having new Olympic qualified athletes at each show or not. Or not. There are girls in every show that are already Olympic qualified but they could definitely be upset. So again, if you haven't done so already, subscribe, like, comment, um, click on the QR code right there to go to Cuties Conquering Stage 2024. Our Behind the Bikini po podcast is coming up each week. We have a new episode up that went up yesterday. So that's out. Check that out. Um, we will shoot another one next week. What else? If you want to book me, for your suit, your posing, your hair, your makeup, whatever, it's seanscouturecuties.com. That is also in the description box below. You can get everything from that particular URL. So if you need anything, that's that's the place to go. Uh, look forward to talking to you guys again next week. I will be on live on Tuesday. We will wrap up these shows. So we're doing lives on Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday will be pre-recorded, pre edited photo or videos for you guys. So you can watch them, put them into your queue. You can watch them on your cardio theater. Okay. Have a great weekend. We'll see you back here on Tuesday live, 815 Eastern standard time here on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Have a great night, you guys.